I am Anil Kumar and in these set of videos we will try to get more information about quadratic equation using x intercepts. The question here is a parabola has a vertex minus 3 7 and one x intercept is minus 11. Find the other x intercept. So that is the question for you. You can pause the video answer the question. Here is my suggestion. Let us kind of sketch the information which we have. So what we know from here is that there is a parabola which has vertex minus 3, 7. Okay, so vertex is always on the axis of the parabola. So let us say this axis represents x equals 2 minus 3. So that means this line is x equals 2 minus 3. Somewhere on this, where y value is 7, we have the vertex for the parabola. So the point is minus 3, 7. So this is the point given to us. And one x intercept is minus 11. So if this is minus 3, let us say minus 11 is somewhere here. Let us say, right? So this is minus 11. We need to find the other x intercept. That is the question. So the other x-intercept will be on the x-axis itself, correct? Second thing is that it has to be same distance away because that is the line of symmetry, right? This is, this is line of symmetry. Since this is line of symmetry, the other x-intercept will be same distance away. So what we can do here is we can find the distance between the two, right? Now the distance between the two is, so let me call that distance from axis to intercepts. So this is my first intercept. And then we have the second intercept. Both distances should be equal, right? because that is the line of symmetry, right? So what is this distance? This distance is minus 3 minus of minus 11. And let us say the other point is somewhere there and let's call it A. In that case, that distance should be same as this distance. Therefore, it should be A minus of minus 3. It should be exactly same, correct? So from here, we can solve for A. So we get minus 3 plus 11 equals to a plus 3 or a is equals to minus 3 plus 11 is 8 and we'll take 3 away from 8. So we get a as 5. Do you see that? So a value for us is 5. Now you can check. 5 minus minus 3 is 8, right? So, so this distance has to be same and that is how using x intercepts and the line of symmetry now we can actually find the answer right so i hope you understand and appreciate this method now the parable of course will be kind of like this is that okay so let me now sketch this parabola okay. so so from the axis so when we get the vertex then minus 3 represents the axis and that helps to solve this question. Now, a difficult question for us is, how are you going to find the y-intercept? Now, we can draw and find, but algebraically, how will you find y-intercept? So that is a question for you to solve. So think about it. How can we find y-intercept in this scenario? That is, my next question for you is, a parabola has a vertex minus 3, 7 and one x-intercept is minus 11. Find the other x-intercept and y-intercept. Okay. Try to solve this. In the next video, we will take up the solution for that. Okay. Thank you and all the best.